Starlink displays three main status messages that indicate different types of connectivity issues. Understanding these messages is crucial for diagnosing problems with your satellite internet connection. The offline status indicates a complete loss of communication between your dish and the Starlink satellites. This is the most common issue, representing 45% of all reported problems. Offline status can be caused by physical obstructions like snow or debris on your dish, severe weather conditions, or hardware malfunctions. The duration can vary from minutes to hours depending on the underlying cause. The unplugged status indicates power or cable connection issues. This accounts for 25% of support tickets and is often related to loose connections, damaged cables, or power supply problems. Unplugged errors usually resolve quickly once the physical connection is restored. The issue typically involves checking cable connections, power supply status, or damaged wiring. The rebooting status means your system is cycling through startup procedures. This affects roughly 15% of problematic cases and can be triggered by software updates, overheating, or power fluctuations. A normal reboot cycle takes two to five minutes. If the rebooting extends beyond that time frame, it indicates a problem that may require intervention. Common triggers include system updates, overheating, or unstable power supply. According to recent data, approximately 15 to 20 percent of Starlink users experience intermittent connectivity issues monthly. Understanding these status messages helps you quickly identify the type of problem you're facing. By recognizing these three key status messages, offline, unplugged, and rebooting, you can better understand what's happening with your Starlink system and take appropriate action when connectivity issues arise. When your Starlink system encounters connectivity issues, following systematic troubleshooting steps can quickly resolve most problems. We'll walk through the specific steps for each type of status message. For an offline status, start by checking the Starlink app for service outages in your area. This simple step can save you time if the issue is on Starlink's end rather than your equipment. Next, physically inspect your dish for any obstructions like snow, debris, or animals that might be blocking the signal. Even small obstructions can cause connectivity issues. Verify that all cable connections are secure and properly seated. Loose connections are a common cause of offline status messages. Finally, power cycle the entire system by unplugging it for 30 seconds, then plugging it back in. This resolves many temporary software glitches. For an unplugged status, start by examining all cable connections for damage or looseness. Look carefully at both ends of each cable connection. Check the power supply LED indicators. The lights will tell you if power is flowing correctly through the system. A solid green light indicates good power, while other patterns suggest problems. Test your power outlet with another device to ensure it's working properly. Sometimes the issue is as simple as a tripped circuit breaker or faulty outlet. Inspect all cables for cuts, sharp bends, or animal damage. Rodents and other animals sometimes chew on cables, causing intermittent connection problems. If your system is stuck in a rebooting loop, first allow 10 minutes for a normal reboot to complete. Some updates and maintenance procedures take longer than usual. Check for overheating by looking at the Starlink app. If the system shows a thermal shutdown warning, move the dish to a cooler location or provide better ventilation. Ensure you have a stable power supply. Power fluctuations can cause continuous rebooting. Consider using an uninterruptible power supply for critical applications. If the rebooting loop continues beyond 15 minutes, perform a factory reset. This will restore the system to default settings and often resolves persistent software issues. For signal optimization, use the Starlink app's obstruction checker to identify any objects blocking your dish's view of the sky. The app provides a detailed view of obstructions. Relocate the dish if obstructions exceed 5% of the sky view. Even small obstructions can significantly impact performance, so finding a clear location is crucial. Clean the dish surface regularly with appropriate materials. Dirt, snow, or ice on the dish can reduce signal quality and cause intermittent connectivity issues. Adjust dish positioning manually if auto alignment fails. Sometimes the automatic positioning system needs help finding the optimal angle for satellite communication. For network configuration issues, 
reset your router to factory settings. This clears any configuration problems that might be interfering with your connection. Update firmware through the Starlink app regularly. Firmware updates often include performance improvements and bug fixes that can resolve connectivity issues. Configure port forwarding if needed for specific applications. Some services require specific ports to be open for optimal performance. Consider switching between 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. Different devices perform better on different frequency bands, and switching can improve connection stability. Following these systematic troubleshooting steps will resolve most Starlink connectivity issues. Remember to work through each step methodically, and don't hesitate to contact Starlink support if problems persist after trying these solutions.